More than a month after the election, Minnesotans are still waiting to find out who will represent them in the U.S. Senate come January 20th. And with each passing day, the battle between incumbent Norm Coleman and Democratic challenger Al Franken seems to get more complicated. Thursday, the Minnesota Supreme Court ruled that hundreds of improperly rejected absentee ballots are in play. That move almost guarantees that the recount will drag into the new year. The decision appears to be good news for Franken, who fought to have those absentee ballots included. But the process for figuring out which ones are in and which ones are out could get messy. Both candidates will have a chance to challenge the ballots as they're unsealed and counted. Critics of that move say instead of protecting voter rights, it allows the campaigns to become the gatekeepers of the election. The court's ruling came at the end of another long day of ballot reviews. Coleman entered the day 360 votes ahead, but by the end of the day, he led Franken by just two votes. Mike Gracia, The Associated Press.